Unity across the political divide as a way to build the country. That's the call made to mourners at Oli Leguangu's funeral. He'd been ambushed and killed by unknown assailants. After a meeting in the Philippi area in Cape Town over a week ago, his family is shattered. The unfortunate part of this thing, we have saw this thing on Facebook. On Facebook, you can imagine. And most of us, we, we didn't even know that our brother is dead or he was gunshot. Now, our appeal to the government of Western Cape, they must do justice. Justice must be done. No one has been arrested for the killing. A 50,000 rand reward has been offered for help in nabbing the perpetrators. The DA has vowed to keep a close watch on the investigation. South Africa comes from a, a, a history where, where violence uh, was part of politics. We have to now lead and condemn such acts, call for peace amongst the people of South Africa and remind each one of us that law enforcement agencies must do their job. We may fight with words, but we should never fight with bullets. 41-year-old Guangu is described as a long-standing DA member. He is survived by his wife and four children. Simkita Mangunana, SABC News, Mtata.